my beautiful buddies and welcome to a brand new mod called Trip to Egypt. Now this mod is made by Nando Sims. So yes, obviously I haven't done a lot of mods <laughs> in the past, so this is a brand new kind of video for me so you guys can let me know if you guys like the mod reviews. Um, but yeah, let's start with the items. So first of all, it just comes with a couple new items. It comes with an eyeliner, like a couple variations of this eyeliner, but they look very, very similar. I chose the one with the curl in it, but they do have one um, without it. Um, and then like one without this like long thing in the middle. So they look all very similar. And then this hat. Um, now this is a pharaoh hat. Um, it's usually not for female sims, but I decided to put it on my sim here just because she looks really cute. <laughs> this Cleopatra looking sim. So this does come with quite a few items. Um, so first of all, we have a, um, like a vendor. Maybe we can hire one just so we can see what it looks like. Um, like while we're waiting here. <laughs> and then we have a arch here. An arch um, and it comes with oh okay I really like this oh, okay so this is from oh oh you could buy produce oh this is really cool okay I like this so this is like a stand like the other kind of like official pack staff and I really like that because it looks like there's food on there that's pretty cool um, and then like you have like all these arches and like all the different colors of like these pillars and then obviously they come in different sizes but I didn't want to put every single color because there's a lot as you can see and the same with the walls like you can see this really pretty like emerald different colored wallpaper and then like these marble ones and then the same colors um, as the, like the wall like the pillars over there you have the walls um, but yeah, I didn't put in all the different colors. But yeah, we also have to this bed. Ooh, did that do something weird there? I think it might have. Um, so we have a, you now these different kinds of beds. Um, and I'll show you guys all the colors. So it comes in like these plainer colors and then pink and then the different wicker colors. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm just kind of like going down the line so you guys can. The only issue I kind of have with this bed is that I feel like there's like a little rip right here that I feel like it shouldn't have been seen. I don't know if that will maybe will be finished um, after like the early version because um, Nando did give me early access so thanks to him. Um, and then yeah you have a bench in like different colors. I really love how, they, how he included black and white as well as these like really pretty patterns. I really really like the furniture. It's really really awesome. Um, and then you have this bed too, which this bed was the only bed that came in one color. So I don't know um, why that was. Um, I don't know if it was meant to come in more colors or not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was just a little confused about that. Um, and there are these there are these chairs, which in my opinion, I feel like this is one of my favorite items of the pack because I really, really love the wicker texture. I think it's so pretty. We haven't had this something like this since as far as like a chair that looks like this so I'm a big fan of this I really like this um, and then we have a um, like a side table and then on the last one we have a little like um, which call it snow globe and I love the freaking snow globe that is so cute I love that um, and then a dining chair of its similar nature and then like a little stool thing in the same similar colors as the like ottoman over there like the big size one like this one um and then these cute 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 plants which are in like that same wicker texture um and over here like cactuses with a basket in it love that um the same wicker texture that we can see in the chairs um and then a few different wicker rugs like the wicker i love the wicker in this this pack it's definitely some of like my favorite <laughs> favorites um, for as far as like the items that he's made um, and then there are these dressers which are so so pretty honestly like I'm impressed with like the dressers the yeah and like obviously there's like this other one here like you can kind of see the clothes hanging which I'm a fan I look I really like that um, like you you can um, like my my favorites are like the dressers and like the these like over here whatever they're called like the screens the plans 
the sitting things, like these wicker chairs. Like I really, really like this. Like a lot of this furniture is so well made. Um, and then we obviously have the rugs. Um, and then yes, there you guys can see the pattern. Comes in a lot of good neutral colors, um, as well as like easy to like put like furniture with like because they're kind of more neutral. Um, so I really, really like that. Um, and as well, did I get all, did I get all the furniture? I think I might have. Oh, 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 I forgot, I forgot. Then we have like these lights that you guys can kind of see from a distance. Obviously you would put these in a house, but they're, I think they're kind of of a, like a, like a wicker texture. Yeah, they are, okay. So they're of a wicker texture as well. Um, and that's kind of like the items that come with the pack. Um, so I'll show you guys around the world. Um, but yeah, I guess my final verdict, I guess about like the items that came with the pack. Oh, oh, I think there was one more thing. I think, okay guys, so we, so here is the flooring that I forgot. It's like kind of a wicker texture too. I like it though, I think it's cool. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any complaints about it. The only thing I think that needed work was there's this one object in the catalog that was supposed to be like a fruit bowl, but it was in a pyramid shape. But for some reason, every time I placed it, it disappeared. And then the bed over here, I just feel like I get what they were trying to do with the creases. I really, really like that, like how it looks lived in. But I feel like there's like these really deep indents that shouldn't have been so so deep because then you can kind of see through the frame um but other than that i really really love the objects they're so pretty and well they're so well made and i really really like them um so yeah it almost makes me kind of like want to go on like a download spree for build by cc because if you guys have been watching the channel um you know that i really don't do build by cc just because I don't really want to fill and stuff my mods folder. I like to make it easy for you guys to download, but mm, makes it really tempting. So, in this world, obviously every place is Strangerville, so you need to have this app. But um, in the original like world, this is like very orange looking, very hazy, um, especially too because there's like that weird kind of like purple hinge like when you play the storyline and I really really like this I really really love the way that the rocks look they are so I don't know it looks very like sandy like very very Egypt like um and the only thing I can guess I can kind of see like where it gets kind of like hard to depict is like in the real back over there I think it starts to get like more darker but i guess i can like you know like it's it's a mod pack this is a community made thing this ea didn't make this so it's very very realistic oh my god i didn't even notice that in the back over there do you guys see that you guys see that look 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 there's like the pyramids i'm i'm impressed uh okay i really like this this is really cool um and then yeah i just i, I really really like this because it obviously it kind of like blends the new in with the old um and I'm just a big fan of the fact that, um, like, besides, like, the really pretty world, this could make, like, a really, really cool, like, let's play, too. Like, if you're kind of tired of playing in Strangerville and you wanted something new, um, well, you got it. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I just placed some surrounding lots over here just so you guys can get an idea of, like, how to make it blend better. I didn't make any of these lots. I just got them off the gallery just typing Egypt. Um, so FYI, same with her, I just kind of changed her up a little bit. I think she's like one of the top rated sims for Cleopatra. Um, oh, I already showed you guys this one. Yeah, and then there's this really cool one that this person made. I think I placed it backwards, so yeah, I did. <laughs> so yeah, there's some really cool things that you guys could like do with this. Um, but yeah, I'm like just like a big fan. Like it just looks so, so, so pretty. Let's see how the way the sand moves. And then like, yeah, you see that? Like obviously there's still some existing things like with these like little mother plant thingies from the Strangerville. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. I think it's really cool. Um, but yeah, I guess I kind of want to show you, you should go to a different part of the town so you guys can see it. Um, yeah, like see, look right there. We had we still have like the weird Strangerville Sims. <laughs> there is a cheat that you can put in to get rid of like the storyline, but I, I just but I didn't do it. I forgot about that. 
oh, that's that's interesting. I didn't see that before. Was that always here or am I crazy? And the only thing with this mod too, that if you were gonna install it, um, follow the instructions very closely because this is actually kind of a little bit confusing to download if you haven't downloaded one of his mods before. So keep that in mind, make sure you back up your files. Um, but yeah, let's go to a different part of town so you guys can see what it looks like in the more downtown area. Okay guys, so we are back here. Um, again, I just placed a few lots down just so you guys can get a feel of it. This is an Egyptian nightclub. I did not make it. It's pretty cool. Um, again, I just typed in Egypt and Egyptian if you guys are like looking for any of these lots. There isn't a total a lot of them. Oh, look how interesting that is. Okay. So, apparently when your sim walks in the sand, that they they like leave like footprints and I really really look look your sim can just build a sand castle randomly so yeah a lot of this was like done in very 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 big detail um and yeah as you can see too you can like see her the other version of like the eyeliner as well that I put on her you guys can see <laughs> so I really really like that it's really cool um I think they definitely got that probably from like the the beach pack. I can't think of it right now. The, you know which one I'm talking about. The one with Solani. <laughs> I don't know why I got a mental, mental like block right here. Okay, but that's like interesting that it turns black though. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like maybe something that could be something that's like worked on. Of course, this is a mod. Keep in mind they have early access, so this could always be improved and worked on later. Um, but yeah, I want to show you guys how cool this is. Do you guys remember how normally? this world looks okay and i don't even think we even have this bridge here okay but wait till they turn around oh my god look okay before i turn around like please please admire like these these in the distance like these pyramids are cool but you really have to take a look when we turn around because it is totally transformed like there is like an old town kind of look in the back Look at her now. Look, look, just look at her now. Like, look at these skyscrapers that were put in instead. I am such a fan. This looks so cool. I love this. Now, I don't really know if these are like how they, how he got these. Like, if they were taken from like, um, like the city world, like city living, or like from Newcrest or something like that, or he pre-built them, but this is so cool. I really, really like this because it kind of like reminds me of actual Egypt. Like if you ever seen a picture, you'll see like Egypt has like their modern downtown area and then they'll have like their historical area in the back, uh, like with like untouched. So I think this is really cool. It looks really realistic to, I guess, how it would be in real life. Um, from what I've seen and I just I just like this because it just like shows how much work was put into it like obviously like some lots have to be replaced like this one and this one like I didn't put all of them down and I believe this is like another one I think he might have even made this like on his gallery play page on Nando Sims um and yeah it's just like really cool looking like this is a restaurant so yeah you could do like a lot with this there's so much beauty to this pack I mean not this pack well it is a mod pack I guess you can call it that um and yeah like obviously too like I think this is borrowed from like the the eco living like the one of the updated like apartment blocks so like I really really like this I really really like how much thought was put into this and things like this like if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys um I like despite like there being like little things like the like little mother plants around I almost like this better than the look of stranger bill like don't don't come at me I really do I really like this just because I think it just gives it a new refresh world and if this proves anything I think it's that EA really does need to come up with like a world building tool like similar to the ones in the sims 3 or even in the sims 2 where they had like a drop down menu with like the different terrains you wanted and then you know you can rename it and things like that like i really really like this this is such so well done and i think it just would make like so many more unique worlds like this and i just really 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 like this and seeing as nando sims has done 
a one with Asia um, that replaces like the the vampire world. Um, I would really love to see one for France. Like, I think that would be really really awesome as well um, because like it seems like he's kind of doing all the world event like the Sims 3 world adventure worlds. That's something I else would see too. Um, and I also too just like love the furniture like despite there being like little minor things like like the fact that the sand is black and like the me the bed looks a teeny bit a teeny bit off i really think this is a really cool quality mod and definitely if you guys are looking for something a new way to like refresh your game but um you don't want to like you may have all the like have all the packs installed or you don't really um like want to buy a new pack at the same at this at this time like this is a really great way to like refresh your game um like i said too like if you are gonna install this mod um make sure you back up your mods and i will make sure to link his patreon page you guys can go ahead and um like check when it's available for public or if you guys want to download the mod early you guys can become <laughs> one of the patreon um and get it now um so yeah you guys oh, let me know too yes. if you guys like um if you guys like uh -huh. mod reviews and like me looking and talking about them and showing you guys how they work a little bit um you guys can comment down below you guys can comment down below if you guys went and install this mod um yeah and i like see like the the cars still move and things like that like it's it's well done because i feel like it's a really good well done mix between like having some of the old lots like from like having more of an older kind of feel to it mixed in with the new so it's it's really really cool it's like seamless that we haven't like like not uh, there's something like really good good and seamless like the way that they tried to like mix the old downtown with the new it's something that we haven't really seen before and i really like the look of it i think it's really cool because obviously you can see like it's a developing downtown. It's not like supposed to be like a Sam Machino kind of one. Not even like a new crest kind of one. It's just kind of like developing, you know? But like despite me not replacing like a few of these lots here and there, like I I think this is I think this is cool. Because obviously like it has a bit of a storefront feel, like old downtown, new downtown, old downtown, new downtown. So that's pretty cool. And then of course too, you have like the historical this in the back i think that's really awesome <laughs> um but yeah you guys can comment down below what you guys think um not what you guys think and you guys can follow me here as well as on twitch um twitter you know all that good stuff and make sure you guys leave me a comment down below okay um i will speak to you guys soon and um i'll see you in my next video okay bye 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 <laughs>